Hey you folks, Mold Foran here, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be carrying on our campaign in Old World as Rome. And uh, as you can see down here, Romney looks the strong. He's, uh, he's getting a bit old now. We are uh, 66 years old. So, um, yeah, I think we might die during today's episode, but we'll see. We've got our uh, daughter as, as our heir, Hort Hortensia. So uh, we're likely to play as her later on today, or if not, probably in the next episode. Uh, we'll see how much we obviously uh, get through um, during our campaigning today. So, uh, yeah, well, today's aim and uh, kind of target is probably to try at least get one of these Control 5 developing cities. We're at 3 out of 5. It doesn't actually tell you which ones they are that you've already got, but uh, it's definitely Roma. Um, I think Aruminium? Yeah, it's developing... Odyssea. Okay, you're not. You're, this is actually pretty close to finishing, so that one probably uh, will not take us too much longer. Oh, you just hit developing, which is kind of strange. That was one of our latest cities, but uh, we do have that bonus where we get development from uh, killing barbarians. Although I think we just no, we killed the barbarians before founding this. We did have some events, I think, that probably gave us some uh, culture there. Comonium. Let's have a look at you. Okay, you've had literally no progression, so we probably do, after we build this warrior, we probably do need to uh, maybe go for the festival, I think. Yeah, maybe a festival and see how well that does. Uh, here come the uh, the Hatties. Looks like they're going to come settle up here, which they destroyed uh, last episode. And uh, speaking of what happened last episode, we also took out the Gauls. So we will build a settler and come settle up here before uh, before too long. And then the same with the Barbarians up here. We'll leave some defending this, probably this Militia. Uh, once we've taken out this last unit and then we'll head up here take out the barbarians and we'll probably found another city like i said in previous episodes i didn't really want to found another city but uh we might as well do it because otherwise the uh, the hattie here will come and take it anyway so we might as well just do it so uh, that's roughly what we're going to be working towards today but let's just get time going and we'll also watch out because i think we probably need to build up our um our military because, yeah, these guys don't particularly like us, and they've got a lot of cities and a lot of units, so we're going to have to be really careful about making sure they're not going to do a surprise war against us and obviously uh, win, probably, with how much units we have at the moment. So we probably need to focus a little bit more on military. We have got the phalanx uh, technology getting learned soon, so we'll probably do that and then figure out what we've got to do to build phalanxes, because they're re the... Uh, the unit that unlocks, it doesn't unlock phalanxes, it unlocks uh, like shield men, I think. We'll see once we've finished it. And uh, yeah, we'll probably focus on that a little bit in the uh, in the near term as well. Our uh, queen is feeling much better, is no longer ill, that's good to hear. Duke Hostus gives into his basic desires more often lately. He's lost one discipline. I think he already lost one discipline. Yes, he has minus four discipline. <laughs> He's super undisciplined, you could say. Princess Hortensia. Oh, he has had a son, Duke Aulus. So I guess she is going to be, uh, yeah, our future, a future ruler for our realm, unless unless he dies, obviously. Uh, Duchess Amelia is now old enough to be tutored by courtiers. Um, our granddaughter and second in line to the throne. Although surely she isn't second in line anymore. Surely her son is. Maybe it's just because the order of these events happened. But I would imagine that's how it's going to happen. Time passes quickly. Duchess Emilia has grown up fast and eager to learn. How should we educate her? Let's have a look. What does she... I meant to just... <laughs> that's the wrong button. Uh, we don't care about this or this. Can we get that event back? Uh, we will do in a minute. Well, we'll wait for the event to come back and then we'll check out what she is. Right, uh, we'll just keep building... Oh, we can actually build the Shrine of... Uh, the Shrine of Venus, plus two growth. Can build us anywhere, spreads Roman paganism, and gives us plus two culture. Interesting. Was our Arminium one that we already got developing? It was. But I kind of want to build this anyway, to be honest. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get a Shrine of for all the gods. And then we're just going to take out this, uh, this Gaul uh, Spearman, is he? Uh, skirmisher, so kind of. Gonna have to wait till the next turn. You, I'm gonna bring back down here and we can heal him up. Um, do we want to force march him? We've got a lot of this training, to be honest. So we'll force march him and then we'll heal, because then we can get a turn advance on starting to get him healed up. These are free militia that we got from that event that we started. 
To be honest, I think I'm just going to fortify these. Um, oh, we have a fort here. I'm actually going to fortify them in the fort uh, next turn. And you can just hang around up here. Again, we're kind of just putting these units on the um, on the border here, just in case they come and attack us. Hopefully, we'll put them off maybe a little bit. You can come back and heal. And then we'll send them up to take on these barbarians. And then this is our new uh, Byream. Yeah, the new the Byream that we uh, that we made. So we're going to just look around and see if there's we can find another civilization there is that we could maybe ally with could come and help us against the Hattie. Obviously they're on a, they would be on a different island, so unlikely they'd actually come and help us, but still might as well uh, see if we can find them. So yeah, we finished the festival. So we are progressing this culture a little bit. Um but what I might do is how much is a settler 5 years? Yeah, I think we'll do that. And then we'll move them up here and we can settle this old uh, Gaul site over there. And we've just finished building a miner here. Getting some more culture, some more... Oh, this actually gives us more... Um, yeah, th plus three culture. So this is actually going to hit developing uh, within a turn or two, which would be fantastic. We'll get a four out of six then. Uh, no, four out of five even. And it also gives us gold and obviously some salt as well, which... Um, improves it even further so what we'll do is i don't know actually do we need we probably don't need another militia up here another warrior even actually i don't really want to build any more warriors i want to build at least these hastatas we'll have the developing culture we don't have a stronghold but we'd have to build that with our worker anyway so there's nothing we can do there i might just build you know what, we'll build the walls first like i say just in case we get attacked oh here we go the air education oh so, okay she's wanton and she has a lot of charisma. Well, she has some charisma. I wouldn't say a lot. She's wanton, so I'd say she probably doesn't want to go into politics. Maybe tactics. There we go. We'll, we'll pick tactics for her. And, uh, yep, that's the end of your turn. And you will fortify them next turn. Otherwise, actually, I don't know if these units can fortify. Find out next turn. We'll just put them on sentry, if not. Yep, yeah, there we go. They settled uh, Zapua. Roman paganism was founded in Bononia, so we got our we got our first religion, which is quite good. Gives us oh, gives us plus two culture in every city. Oh, nice. So, yeah, we will get that spread then. All got Marcus converted straight away to it, and the Julius family, in its entirety, converted to Roman paganism. Okay. Pagan religions are founded by building your first shrine, and they spread by building more shrines. They have no disciplines, theo theologies, or access to special religious improvements, but the improved religion's opinion will reduce discontent in cities with the religion. Paganism has been adopted as a state religion if you enact divine rule. Okay. I'll build more shrines if I want to spread paganism. Well, that's good. We're we actually building more, more shrines, so that's all in all a good idea. Um, we could build a shrine to Vulcan. Well, we've already got a shrine here, haven't we? Isn't this a shrine of Vesta? I don't want two shrines probably in the same place. Don't really want to build a garrison either. We'll build this. We'll build a hamlet. Get us some even more gold. We've got a lot of gold, but we can use it to buy other things if we need to, as we've uh, talked about previously. Uh, okay, yeah, we can't... Um, these guys can't fortify by the looks of it, so we'll just put them on sentry. And you as well. And then you're almost fully healed. We'll head up here and... Uh, try take on these barbarians they've only got one unit and we'll bring this guy as well over so imagine this militia will probably kill this oh it won't actually so never mind <laughs> we won't there we go well that worked <laughs> okay yeah that used all your turn you're gonna stay here because we we don't want somebody to come over and steal this whilst we're uh, whilst we're away from the area I want to make sure we keep that for ourselves. And then, yeah, we're going to go sail the sea. See if we can find anyone. I suppose we know this is the top of the world here. Oh, actually, this is the edge of the world. So we probably should sail south. And kind of see where that takes us, I uh, I believe. Right, what do we need for these? Strong culture? We need a stronghold. So this work here. Do you know what? I might actually build a few workers. Or should we? Should we build workers? What have we got? Oh, we do need more stone. Okay, we'll build this stone cutter. And we'll put him in here. 
and we'll then build a worker. Because I was thinking just having one worker in each city, but it looks like there's a lot of improvements we could build, so we'll actually build another, another worker at least for Rome. We can worry about other ones later, but for now that's what we'll do. You are developing, fantastic, so you, we can... Um, what should we build here? Oh, we don't need that. Do we need food? No, we've got, we've got so much food. Basically need stone or um, uh, wood. Are basically the only two things we like desperately need. So I guess we'll build this stone cutter. Oh, I don't even desperately need them, but we, we do need them for more things. To be honest, we probably need more iron, because once we start building the better military units, it's going to cost us quite a lot of iron to build those. Yeah. Oh, they actually spawned another unit. You are now known as Romulus the Noble. Because we got to 70... We got plus 70 legitimacy. I think we already had that, but fair enough. Oh, no, uh, probably because we completed this build six urban improvements. And Hostus, your nephews, converted to Roman paganism. That's fine. Urban expansion. Following the completion of Rome's latest urban improvement, you take a moment to reflect on your accomplishments. As our cities begin to take shape, you know there is much work to be done. How will you prioritize Rome's urban expansion? Urban centers must continue to grow, so we just build 20 uh, urban improvements. Our cities expand. We should establish laws to maintain order. Uh, um, this, be uh, this begins an ambition enact legal code. Let's wrap up production. Oh, fawn stove. We make four stone cutter specialists. We probably are going to get that <laughs> anyway. I think we've got like three being built at the moment. Well, built. <laughs> it's not really built. Trained, I suppose. Um, you don't build a stone cutter. Um, I'm not sure. Has it? Maybe this one, just because it sounds kind of cool. Start legal code law. Next legal code. I guess that must be up here. Uh, one, of these, one of these must be legal code, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. No, legal code. There it is. We need to have citizenship as a tech first. This gives you plus 10 um, civics per turn. That was divine room. Well, actually, adopt pagan state religions. Reduce discontent. Okay. Interesting. We'll, we'll think about it when we come back to that event. A younger son of the Hattie royal family has presented himself in Bononia as the defector and great admirer of the culture of Rome. What a legend. What a legend. The Hattie... Oh, requires the Hattie to be upset. Okay, because because the Hattie haters, I guess one of their children's just run off to Ah, Rome's cool. I wanna go I wanna go there. Held a noble hostage, plus twenty opinion for forty years, plus two legitimacy, took initiative against hostile power, support his dreams of leading an artistic community in Bononia. Bononia gets work of art and twenty percent more culture. That's pretty good. Oh, that's what it gives you, okay. So it'll give us one point six more culture. Convince him to return to his homeland and heal the divide between our nations. If we were charming, we could basically convince him to go back home. But uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> we're going to keep him. Um, held a noble hostage. Plus two. Why would the Hadi like us more for having a member of his royal family? Oh, I guess. Oh, we're using it as like leverage against him. Saying like, you best like us more because we've got one of your royal family children in our jail. I'm going to do this. I'm just getting the work of art. Why not? Oh, we could get a free Byrium, which we don't really need. We've already got one ship. I don't think at the moment we need more than one. Metaphysics, convert to state religion. High Synod and Archive. Coinage, ornament workers. That's not too bad, but to, to be honest, our cities aren't that big for us to have to worry about this. Pacify City. Interesting. What's Pacify City do? Oh, it doesn't really tell you. <laughs> okay. Pacifies exposes our weakness. Pacify. Oh, I guess it's if you have high discontent, you can then pacify them to um, reduce it, I imagine. And then land consolidation. Oh, unlocks camel archers. War elephants. And grove improvements. Actually, we'll do this one. Actually, 
yeah, we'll do this one. Why not? Why not? Those upgrades look pretty good, to be honest. We build here a quarry. Um, we could do that. A lumber mill. Do you know I think I'd rather build the lumber mill because our lumber is pretty poor. It's only plus eight. So yeah, let's get this lumber mill going. We finished another shrine, the Shrine of Mars over here, and then we'll build um, an improvement for this uh, barley, I think. Wheat. It's wheat, even. Okay, the farm road. Nice, so we got another one of these temples going for our uh, for our religion. Should be up here somewhere, I believe. Yeah, okay, Roman paganism. Nice. We, we can actually build people to spread this, so we, we might do that a little bit. I kind of want to convert to one of these other ones, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. See what options we get in the future. Right, I guess we'll keep attacking, although... Oh, they've got two units now. Joe, I'm actually going to come back and heal up. And then once we've found it... Well, this guy can head over here as well now. And then you're going to stay here, and uh, this settler will move up and uh, settle in this area. Oh, you're free as well. Nice. We've got three units to come and attack these last barbarians. Yeah, let's head south. No, still no luck. <laughs> we can't find anyone. Excellent student. It comes to your attention that Amelia excelled in a tri tactics training, winning numerous commendations from officers. Amelia was clearly taken to her studies. This time she chose a vocation. So we can make her a, uh, a commander or a tactician. Um, let's make her a commander. Why not? And there we go. Yeah, this urban expansion one. So I think what we'll actually do is... Yeah, ramp up production. We'll do this one. Let's ramp up production. And again, we'll build another lumber mill. Start really doing that. And then we can put some specialists into these as well to make us even more lumber. Which should help us as well. Oh, they're going to settle again. Wait, where are you? Oh, up here? Oh, I, I forgot they'd taken out that one as well. Uh, Patriarch Hostus is now the head of the Roman paganism. Oh, he's like the head of the religion. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Oh no, Marcus the Swift died. He's our first like named character that's died, I think. Apart from our mother, I suppose. She died as well a couple of episodes ago. But yeah, he's been around since the start of the game. Oligarch Fulvia the Younger is now head of the Julius family. Interesting. And with a mild fever running now, Princess Hortensia is rather ill. She's our heir, so hopefully she doesn't die. And that wouldn't be uh, very uh, very good for us, to be honest. Well, it does not really matter, but we don't really want her to die. She's our first um, kind of ruler we've had. Right, let's take on you guys. And then we can move... So let's wipe out this unit straight away. Oh, nice. She got a promotion. Upgrade Horsebane. She has plus 25% damage to mounted units or fierce, 10% against infantry units. Well, I have noticed the, the Hatties do have quite a lot of uh, mounted units. So I think we'll do Horsebane because, uh, yeah, we're probably going to need that once we once we start fighting them. I've noticed they've got a few, uh, a few chariots. I'm guessing they count as horse, <laughs> as horse units. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll pick that up. We'll probably go with some infantry. They've got slingers and ranged, and they've got a wide variety of units, to be honest. So there's, there's plenty of us to keep uh, keeping. Oh, there's more Gauls. Oh, interesting. So that's weird. So the Gauls were here and then down here. <laughs> so that's probably where some more of the, um, sits, the, uh, the Scythians here. I bet they've got somewhere down here still. If they can be spread out that much, that makes sense as to why the Scythians are still on here. And we're still trading with them, even though they don't exist. Well, we thought they didn't exist. We thought they'd been wiped out, but I imagine they must be on this island somewhere. But yeah, the Gauls being here is interesting. So we could come down and attack these later on. And obviously that's a city site, so we could settle our first kind of colony on another landmass, which uh, we might do. I know I keep saying we don't want to build more cities, but having, a, having like a colony somewhere else... Seems like a uh, seems like a fun idea. Oh, there we go. Yeah. So because we fil finished phalanx, we can now build spearmen. To anti anti mounted and can pierce armor. I'm tempted to build at least one of these. Having a little bit more military will maybe at least put him off 
from attacking us uh, well the queen i suppose from attacking us in the future at least we can build up our military a little bit more yeah they're gonna come settle up here so they're gonna have a lot a lot of cities they've got um nine cities oh we're now known as romulus the glorious <laughs> oh and the magnificent i mean that's even better than glorious Come here. Oh, we've got five developing cities. The Ishtar Gate. Oh, we built our first wonder. The Ishtar Gate got finished. So that gives you plus two growth, plus six culture, uh, plus two victor uh, victory points. And oh, we've got to get to 47 to, be, to get a victory. So it's not really going to help us that much. Plus one growth per culture level as well. And all cities got 100 uh, culture. Oh, that's why we finished the other one. Because this gives 100 culture to every city. So every city probably got to got to developing because that got finished it we <laughs> shame we couldn't pause it till we built that last city but it's fine always having been a bit sickly she's become severely ill that's why our heir potentially might die and octavius the commander has converted to roman paganism the mines of lorian workers in medicia have discovered a rich vein of ore in the local mine which would increase production in the local area however expanding the operation would require significant investment Buy the tools that are necessary. Yeah, we've got so much money, we're definitely doing that. <laughs> seasonal festival. Prominent local leaders in Common wish to host a seasonal festival celebrating the national values. What should be its theme? Through the state, all things are possible. That's a lot of uh, a lot of hammers. 200? Like 50% more. Knowledge and science of the future, although we could boost our science quite a lot. Well, is it a lot? It's plus 50. We earn 34 science a turn. So it's basically one turn worth of science, whereas, whereas this is four, five turns worth of uh, hammers. So let's do that. The Ishtar Gate. It is done. Around the inner city of Roma, the Ishtar Gate stands guard over the most sacred of routes, the pro processional way, an important part of the New Year celebrations. An inscription on the gate says how the workers thus adorned them with luxury splendor so that mankind might gaze on them in wonder and how wondrous they are. The clay bricks are glazed with brilliant blue hue and covered with the reliefs of bulls, dragons, lions and other sacred animals. These gates stand a testament to our people for all of time. And we gain plus four legitimacy. So we're at 145 legitimacy. Uh, I thought it capped at like 100, but I guess not. So I'm just going to keep on going. So there we go. We finished Ishtar Gate. Can we see it? Is this it? No. Oh, no, there it is. It's that massive blue glowing thing. <laughs> that should have been more obvious <laughs> to me. I mean, it was super obvious, but I obviously wasn't paying attention enough. So yeah, there we go. The Ishtar Gate. That's pretty cool. I like that it's got, like, on-map models as well, which is pretty nice. Let's uh, take out these barbarians, and then we'll leave, like, this kind of our, our worst unit here, I suppose, to defend it. You guys can head back down. We got another warrior. Um, I might put him like over here. Oh no, they're, they're here. I meant actually further down here. No, do you know what? We will stay here. Let's fortify in this hill, in this valley here. And then yeah, Medicia will probably build another unit as well. Oh no, yeah, there's loads of golds. Oh, we found the main goal. This must have been like a little outpost they had. It's kind of wild it was all the way up here. You'd think it maybe would have been this border one down here, but just one city over here. That's why I thought we killed them off, but it wasn't to be. An apprentice acolyte. Five years. Actually, no, we'll build the walls here. We'll get this uh, defend a little bit more. So yeah, this is where we could spread paganism, I think, to, to different cities. We could do that. We could spread it to our uh, our enemy, I suppose, over here get them converted to Roman paganism. I'm guessing you can do that. I've not actually looked it up, but I, I imagine you must be able to convert other nations to uh, to your religion. Yeah, see, look at Oh, another settler? Oh, no, our heir died. She did die. Oh. <laughs> Undefeated. Princess Amelia takes to tactics training with an unbridled enthusiasm, especially combat drills, and she bests her opponent every time. Play the instructors are the best in Rome. We may consider promoting some of them. Amelia will continue to benefit from their wisdom. She can become tough, a heckler, or swift. Extend the invitation to the teachers to join us in court. Oh, so we get a court soldier. 
Oh, so we get basically a general um, for our armies. Uh, is she our heir now? She's our heir now. Sure, let's be, let's do this top one. If she wasn't going to be our, she became a heckler. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> um, it's not too bad. Plus twenty five versus another general. So if you're fighting a, another army with another general, you can do more damage to them. And then as leader, all units get plus ten. Um attack and defense strength versus just any general unit so oh no it gets a general again yeah no yeah if if the other team if the other unit has a general we basically get really good bonuses against them so that's actually not too bad that's actually pretty decent all right let's come up here and settle that uh, that place we built some farms here is this stone yes it is is it stone or is it iron it's iron there we go Build a shrine of Unklan. I, I don't think we have a shrine down here, do we? No, we don't. Do you know what? We'll, we'll build this one then. And then then I think we've built every shrine? No. Yeah, that was a shrine of Mars, shrine of Vulcan. We did a shrine of uh, Vesta up here. Okay, no, I think there's one more. I think there's one more shrine we haven't built. Uh, we've told you. Didn't we tell you to build this? Yeah. Oh, Shrine of Venus. Okay, no, yeah, I think we have built them all then. I think that will be all four. I think you can build more than one of each, but there we go. We've got one of one of each at least. We don't have trappings, so we can't get these elephants yet. So yeah, I guess we might build this hamlet that it wants us to build over here. You can head... See, I kind of want to send them to the other island, but I suppose we might as well wait till, till we have settlers, and then we can settle these places as well. Yeah, I think we'll just move them over here. We'll just keep them on this border here. And you can heal and then fortify. Next turn. Yeah, you can stay down here somewhere. You can fortify there. And then we'll keep... Um... Oh! Injured Carthaginian. Scouts from the trees. Our men hurried towards the noise and discovered an injured, an injured Carthaginian lying in the dirt. His companions worked frantically to treat his wounds. According to the man, their caravan was tr transporting goods to the nearest Carthaginian city when they were attacked by bandits. They managed to repel the attackers and save their cargo of wine. Treat the wounds and escort the caravan to its destination. Negotiate an exchange uh, for protection of the goods so we can get gold at the cost of training, which we don't need, to be honest. Or kill the Carthaginians and just steal their cargo. <laughs> Well, you know, we're, we're, we're a tactical character. Uh, we've got high wisdom and charisma and stuff, so I think we just help them and then send them on their way. And there we go, we found Carthage. So there we go, we've, we've met our... Um, our uh, third... Well, our second AI nation, Queen Emilis. Actually, it's quite funny. When we die, we'll, we'll also be a female ruler, so we'll just have all queens um, in the world that we know of. Um, so we could build another spearman. I'm not sure we want to do that. Do we want to do that? Our discontent's rising quite a bit, actually. Can we lower that? Minus 40. Okay, we'll do a festival. It gives us more culture, but it also reduces um, the discontent, which is getting a little bit high, so let's do that could have a governor oh yeah true we could have put a governor in here let's put Ilya the younger actually yeah, we should probably do that in all our cities <laughs> we've totally forgotten to be doing that okay there's no one of the Julius house to choose there's no one free in that house there's no one free for there okay that's why we haven't done anywhere else I guess because <laughs> no one else has any free uh, rule uh, any free rulers of that house to actually come and help us and they finished their walls. They've got a little bit more protection in uh, in Bononia. And then what do we want to do? Again, discontent is raising, uh, rising quite a bit. So let's do another festival. That'll lower it back down. And it, like I said, you get the nice bonus of uh, a little bit extra culture as well. Which, coupled with our religion, it's actually given us quite a bit of culture every turn, I think, in most of our... Uh, most of our areas. Oh yeah, true. Where is our explorer? 
we'll, we'll have a look for him after this. Duchess Sevilla and Duke Consort Postumus have given birth to their daughter, Duchess Claudia. Okay. Spawning chances with increased recognition of the city of Rome as a center of culture. There have been a movement from the elders to host a festival of archery. A decree was swiftly issued, starting that, stating that in Roma, no other sport should be practiced. Rival factions are riven up, arguing that wrestling and horseback provide better sport. The beleaguered city looks to you. Which will you favor? So new range units plus 50 XP, new infantry units, new mounted units. I mean, I kind of want new uh, new infantry units to get a buff, to be honest. Wrestling is clearly superior. I'm going to say that. I'm going to upset some people, probably, but uh, that's what I'm doing. Right, we'll come here. Um, we might as well settle exactly where the city was, I think. What's this over here? Oh, just scrubland, so we need to clear this out. But we've got some, uh, some ore. We've got ore, silver... Oh, down a lot. The Lorian mine. But that's uh, that's getting worked on by the town down here. Yeah, there's not a lot of um, of stuff here, to be honest. We get this. Oh, actually, if we settle here, we can hit that silver mine with our city. And to be honest, we don't really miss anything over here. You know, let's do that then. I'll have a, uh, a very forest-centric uh, city here. So, yeah, we can build another one. Uh, Claudius, maybe? I think we've got two of each at the moment. Two of each kind of city. Which one is this cities? Here we go. So here we have two of those, two of those, two of those. Okay, yeah, so we have two of everything. So let's let's just build another Claudius one, then. I do like on the map how it kind of spreads out to fill those highlight tiles. It makes your cities look like a little bit more like cities um, on the map rather than just taking up one tile, which is pretty nice. You can at a glance, see how big a city is and uh, and how well it's doing. Uh, they finished building the uh, the hamlet here. So we could build the Great Zigonor, which gives us more culture, more victory points, global, more, uh, more civics. Yep, more civics. And it would also give us all cities 20% reduction in improvement costs. Oh, okay. Kind of want to do this. Do you want, let's, let's do it. Let's buy a bunch of stone. Is it 600? I think it was. Oh, actually, they used up all our money, so... Let's, let's definitely build it. <laughs> Rome has construct, uh, begun the construction of the Great Ziggurat. So yeah, we uh, let's see if we can build that before somebody else does. Why not? Yeah, we'll come up here and build another lumber mill. We've got us up to plus 22, so that's not too bad, actually, to be fair. Yeah, you're going to fortify there until we build another settler. Oh, yeah, good point, actually. We probably should have built... Uh, maybe we'll build one in Rome. We'll queue one up in Rome. Yeah, let's do that. There we go. And then we can send them up there to settle that area. You are definitely going to build some uh, some military units. And then a wall. A spearman, a wall. And then... Uh, this festival. There we go. Just so we can boost its um, culture, start getting up the uh, the culture ranks. Yeah, these guys have finished the the stone cutter. We're definitely going to get this wood cutter next. I kind of want to build another one after. Can we do that? Oh no, we don't. We don't have a spare citizen. Okay, we'll build one then, and then we'll see. Kind of maybe it's grown a little bit by next time. You are going to come in here and uh, heal up. You're going to heal up as well. I'm going to go along the coast here, and I guess we'll find some uh, Carthaginian cities. Well, there we go. We did. Actually, should we go and um, talk to them? Let's have a see. Can we talk to you? National Alliance? I kind of want to do that. Ask to declare war, manage luxuries, send goods. Can we not... Um, national peace requires... Pleased. Okay. We send them salt, <laughs> gift iron, gift food. John, let's give them some food. Is that working? Yes, it is. Okay, it's actually slowly moving down. I'm going to keep doing it. Oh, there we go. We've capped it out, I guess. Oh, no, we capped out our orders. So it actually got to minus four. I want to get them to please so we can get a, a peace with them. We could infiltrate them. Do we have a spy master? 
We need pork colors. Okay, we should probably work on getting these texts so we can start doing some more of these things here. We could ask them to declare war on the Hattie. Yeah, we get the national peace. We could influence them, which probably like like make her like us more. Uh, steal uh, research or slander them, just make everyone else feel uh, feel like they're bad guys. So uh, we might start doing that against the Hattie if we get allied with Carthage. But again, Carthage would have to sail over to leaders and help us in these fights, and I'm not sure if they would, to be honest. They might do though. Oh yeah, we were going to look for our explorer. I have no no idea where he went. Um, Faluvia the Younger converted to Roman paganism. Nice. Duchess Sevilia has uh, had a um, had a daughter as well. No, a son even. All right, we'll build this quarry. Oh yeah, yeah. We we built two uh, workers, didn't we? We built another one. Actually, we're going to send this worker uh, um, up here. There we go. You can start building this. Actually, we probably should have built a, a worker first here, but as we have that spare one, I don't suppose it really matters. Yeah, you can stay there. You are going to... Oh, you don't have a general? Okay, let's put a general in here. Not us. General Aurelia. She's our heir, isn't she? I always forget. No, she's in our heir. Amelia is. Amelia and Aurelia. So, uh, you know, John, let's put Aurelia in there. Actually, how many cities has Carthage got? Four. No, five, because it's got a strong city as well. Which Do we have a strong city? Oh, yeah, we do. We have one. Nice. Yeah, so Carthage is kind of weaker. It looks like they've got a very mountainous area where they started. Or it looks like they're going to go settle somewhere else maybe as well. So, um, I mean, we could go after those in the future. We'll see. We'll see. We've got what? We've got a quarter of the way through the game. We're missing... Oh, actually, it's giving us a spoiler here. Persia. Ah, uh, one of the other nations. And then two unknowns. So we must know Persia through a different... So Carthage or the Hatti must know um, Persia from something else. Oh, wait, no, no. I know how we know it. <laughs> Ignore me. We know it's the religion. They founded a religion, didn't they? Yeah, Judaism. So we, we, we found out that they existed because we found out this had been uh, founded. So that's how we know investment opportunity word has reached us for a limited time only an exciting opportunity exists for us to invest in the construction of a new bridge in carthage this does this sounds like a con to be honest queen emilsi the just of carthage is unable to fully fund the construction herself and so is selling partial ownership to trusted investors while initially the only return will be goodwill once the bridge is fully funded and allowing for construction costs and a reasonable profit margin for emilis we will be entitled to a share of the crossing tolls proportional to our investment. We're practically guaranteed to make a huge profit. <laughs> that seems... Uh... Oh, she's a schemer. So this sounds like a, like a bad idea. But um, we're going to do it. Because <laughs> then she'll like us. We might be able to get that, that uh, kind of alliance or a proper piece with them. A familiar face. You hardly recognize the young woman who returns from training. Princess Amelia has spent the last several years studying to become a useful member of the court. And now she's ready to serve. Give us some clerical work. <laughs> Older military parade and training exercises. Well, we did make her a commander. So let's do this top one. The source of power. Proposed pol policies divide the court. Queen Consort and Gov Governor Il Ilya disagree passionately on the direction of the government. Scabonia urges us to centralize authority here in the capital, as Ilya wishes to cede more power to the vassal families and their cities. We cannot afford for so two such influential in individuals to be at odds. How shall we fix this? So we basically side with one of them. Or we can say no. <laughs> we can just say, shut up. Just figure it out between yourselves. So this gives us 40 opinion of vassalage. Oh, so if we have vassalage as our uh, kind of uh, as our law, the Claudius family will like us more. Or if we have centralization, centralization, the Fabius family will like us more. I don't know actually which one... Oh, we don't even have this unlocked yet. So once we have aristocracy. So vassalage will give us... 50% reduction in unit consumption and no extra unit consumption outside of borders. Okay, so that will save us quite a lot of gold, to be honest. I think it's gold. Was it food? Gold? 
<laughs> Food? I don't know, whichever one gets consumed by units when they're outside of your lands. Or centralization, plus 10 civics a year. Capital city gets plus 2 culture per culture level, so that gives Rome plus 6. And if we add any Judaism characters, they'd like us plus 20. Which we don't have, so... I think we'll do this one, Vassalage. We're probably going to be doing some wars against the, the Hattie at some point. And uh, definitely against the Gauls in the future, so... We'll, we'll choose that one. When the event comes back, we'll, we'll side with whichever side wanted that one. Uh, no, we want you to... Oh, promote? Oh, let's promote them then. Yeah, we'll just do cold, uh, combat. Why not? Uh, here we go. Yes, yeah, so we want to pick the one that's going to choose... Uh, was it Vassalage? I forgot now. <laughs> yeah, Vassalage. There we go. Yeah. So we'll side with those chaps. Oh, you got a promotion as well. Okay, Amphibious. Oh, plus 50% attack strength when you cross a river. Interesting. Plus 25 against siege or ship units. Leads to focus. That's just going to give us more um, crit chance, crit damage. And it's just going to give us plus 10 strength. I said crit damage. Why not? Anyway, guys, we're going to leave it there for today. We've been going for uh, for about 40 minutes or so, which, as I've said, is roughly the time I want these episodes to go. So, um, yeah, we've done quite a lot today, actually. We definitely did finish that ambition, building the uh, Ishtar Gate over here. Basically, auto-completed it for us uh, at that point. Building another wonder here, and we've obviously consolidated our kind of lands in the, in the east of this uh, continent. We're going to build this um, city over here as soon as we have this settler finished. We'll, we'll head up there. And then I think, like I said at the beginning, we'll probably just build some more military units because at some point we're going to attack these guys or they're probably going to attack us. And uh, yeah, we met Carthage. We'll see what we do. They don't look like they're that powerful. We could potentially go after them instead of allying with them. But um, what we might do is we might take these goals out first and then we'll have a kind of city location down here. And then we can use that as like a jump off point to attack Carthage if we want to. But uh, yeah, they're the options for the future. So let me know what you think in the comments down below and what you're thinking of the game so far. Um, we've got a couple of episodes in now. I think this is what, the fifth or sixth episode. So um, we've got quite a lot of uh, kind of uh, visualization of what the game is like, how it's a little bit different from um, Civilization and Crusader Kings, but it's kind of like a weird mix of the two. Um, I'm enjoying it so far. It's definitely pretty fun. Um, so we're going to carry on this series. I did say originally I think this series was going to be like 10 episodes long, but um, we'll see. I'm actually quite enjoying it. We might just finish this campaign in Old World before we move on to our next game. So uh, we'll see. Let, again, let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to continue or do you want me to finish at like 50% through the uh, the campaign uh, time frame? Um, as I really want these side campaigns on the channel that are usually every Thursday and Saturday, to um to just be like short looks at different strategy games that have been released so maybe it's a game you've not seen or it's a game you might be interested in and you can see through this uh series whether it is a game you might enjoy that's kind of the idea of the side one so we have the crusader kings main one that will always be having a crusader kings campaign and then the kind of side campaign which is um like i say just other other strategy games that you might be interested in so or that i'm enjoying and i kind of want to show off so uh, anyway that is going to be it for today if you've enjoyed the chat if you've enjoyed the episode hit that like button it helps other people find the episodes in the future and if you're new here and this is your first video if you've enjoyed this i do cover crusader kings and some dev diaries and uh, discussion videos and all that kind of cool stuff so uh yeah if that's your kind of thing you know what to do hit that subscribe button but uh, that's gonna be it for today i'll see you in the next one